Sustainable airline fuel production is inching closer to reality. It is a major breakthrough in the fight against climate change. As Barrett Leone explains, Minnesota is at the center of it. We're the best at connecting people in. No one better connects the world. That's our mantra. That's what we live to do. But we need to make sure we do so sustainably. It's a goal Delta Airlines Executive Vice President Peter Carter and others in the airline science and banking industry made last year, operating the first large-scale sustainable aviation fuel chain in the U.S. We are creating the future of flight from Minnesota, and this is just the beginning. Now, SAF is a safe and certified alternative jet fuel that can reduce lifestyle carbon emissions by 80 percent. But there isn't enough of it produced right now that can even fuel a single week of the world's airlines. But leaders here in Minnesota hoping to change that. We're going to blend it here. We're going to buy it here. We're going to make it here and then we're going to make it even better here. Monday, leaders in the up and coming industry highlighting steps forward. The Minnesota SAF hub debuted plans to develop a SAF blending facility in Rosemount and establish production with a grant that will convert Minnesota crops to SAF at a facility in Laverne. Here in Minnesota, we're making it happen and we're changing the world for the better. They're also making it happen with a U of M partnership to eventually make SAF out of next generation feedstocks and a promise from partner companies to purchase SAF with hopes to make it cost competitive. And this is a multifaceted effort of the state of Minnesota to lead on climate change, but it also is clearly smart business. At MSP Airport, Barrett Leone, WCCO News. The Minnesota SAF hub has a goal of commercial aviation to reach net zero by 2050.